Bob Ricky to our heart's delight. Dance to swing a real quickies, jukebox Saturday night. The United States was never utopia, but before the Second World War, Americans tended to live within rather definite moral and legal limits. Most lived in the smaller cities and towns, and what the neighbors thought was important to them. The war changed that. Americans in large numbers left their hometowns for military service or work in the war plants. They found themselves free to question and even ignore traditional standards of behavior. The result was a massive shifting of moral and ethical values and a substantial change in the American way of life. When Americans talk nostalgically about the way the United States used to be, this is about what they have in mind, a place like Springfield, New Jersey, where the government made this film for soldiers overseas. It shows how some Americans lived then and how others hoped to live someday. Springfield looked like a thousand other small towns in America. It's a little hard to believe that it was only 45 minutes from Broadway. A service flag in the window has become a pretty common sight in towns like Springfield, New Jersey. Each star stands for a man in the family, a son, a brother or husband who is in the service. And the star also stands for a mother, sweetheart, sister or wife who remains behind and whose thoughts are always with the men in her family who are away. Dear John, it was so nice to receive your letter and to know you are well. You asked about Springfield. On the surface, the town doesn't seem to have changed a great deal. Main Street with the First National Bank and the majestic movie and Doc's drugstore looks about the same. Sometimes Doc runs out of Cokes now. But the high school kids still crowd the counter in the afternoon. And every time I go downtown shopping, I realize how many familiar faces are missing. But the children are still here. Even from our house, you can tell when it's 3 o'clock, when you hear them coming out of school. I could set the clock by the noise they make. The big event of the day on our street is the arrival of the mail. If the mail is 20 minutes late, we begin to worry. Mr. Cassidy, the mailman, knows the kind of letter we're waiting for, and it seems to count nearly as much to him as it does to us. You hear a lot about how much mail means to soldiers. Well, it means a lot to us here back home. The days when we receive letters from overseas are the happiest days we have. Down in the square, the Lions Club has put up an honor roll. But a star was put up beside Howard Lott's name last week. He was lost in the Mediterranean. On Sunday morning, John, we all go to church. Everyone you know is there and they all ask for you. Church means more to us now than it ever did. For you are in our hearts and in our prayers. Take care of yourself, dear boy. Love from us all, Mother.